Hi friends, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the difference between constructor and the method. Also, we will be discussing about what is the real use of constructor and method or in real time application. So when should I go for constructor and when should I go for method. So that we are going to discuss about in this video. So in our previous video, we have discussed what is method and what are the types of methods in Java as well as we have discussed constructor in our previous video itself. In case if you haven't watched that videos, so that video link is available in the description of this video. So please watch this videos also. So now let us get into this video. So first we will see what is the difference between constructor and method. So first what I am going to do, I am just going to define a method. So method will come with a return type and method name can be any name and just for output purpose I am displaying a statement saying that I am a method. But what about constructor? So the constructor is a special kind of method and constructor name must be the class name and the constructor never returns a value. So again for output purpose I am just displaying a message I am a constructor. And you can look at the difference in the syntax. Method name can be any name, but the construct name must be the class name. And method can return a value, but the constructor never return a value. So this is syntactical difference between constructor and the method. Now we'll see one more different. The constructor will get invoked when I am creating an object. So here new my class is the object. Because of this object creation, this constructor will get executed automatically. But what about the method? So the method will not get executed automatically. I need to call the method. So I will say object dot my method. So this is the difference in case of invoking constructor and the method. The constructor will get executed automatically when we are creating an object or when we are constructing an object. But the method will not get executed automatically. So we have to call the method manually by using your object. Now let us run this code and we'll check our output. So at first the constructor will get executed because of object construction. So once the object is constructed with the help of that object I can call the method. So this is the basic difference between constructor and method. So friends, I hope it's clear. So now we may get a question in our mind. When should I go for constructor? And when should I go for method? So in a real time project or in a real time scenario. Let us take one separate class to explain this. Let me take a class employee so as we know the employee will come with employee id and the employee name 
and the employee salary. So I have three properties. So once the employee is joined in the organization, we need to construct the employee object. So once the employee is joined in the organization, I need to construct the employee object. So while creating or while constructing the employee object, I have to assign employee ID and employee name and the employee salary when he is joining the organization. So in that case, what I will do, I will be going for the constructor. Yes, the constructor will get executed automatically when I am creating an object, when I am constructing an object. So finally, with the help of constructor with parameter, I can initialize my pre values. So here, what I will do, I will say employee ID is this local variable ID and the employee name is this local variable name in the same way employee salary is this local variable salary so finally when the employee is joined in the organization newly i'm just creating an object or i'm just constructing the employee object that is the emp new employee so while constructing object, I will be assigning some employee ID and some name and the initial salary. So now the object construction is over. Right. Now just to test our output, I am just defining a method. Let it be display. This time displaying ID and the name and the salary. So when will I call this method? after the object is constructed or once the object is created after the object creation is completed i can call my method so now if i run this code now it will be displaying the initial value of the employee so now let us run this code and we'll observe our output It is displaying employee ID as 101, name as John, and when he joined the organization, his salary is 2000. So I hope you are getting some idea between, I mean, different between constructor and the method. So finally, by the help of that constructor, what I am doing, I am initializing some pre values when I am constructing the object or the initial values I am initializing with the help of constructor. Now just assume that in future employee ID will be the same in a organization I mean if he is continuing the same organization the employee ID and name may be the same but maybe after certain period his salary may be changed. He may get a uh, increment. So the salary has to change after a certain period. So in that case, what will I do? Will I reconstruct the object once again or I will change only the salary? So definitely I will not reconstruct the object. Yes, the employee object is already created maybe one year back just assume that one year back so i will not be reconstructing the object once again yes the employee object is already created but now what i have to do i have to change the salary 
only the salary I have to change. So in that case, what I will do, I will be going for the method. So let me define a method. Let us say set salary. So I will say my e salary equal this local variable salary. Finally, with the help of this method, I can change this salary of any employee by using employee object. So I hope you are understanding. So let me make a separator. Just to get the clear out. So initially, while constructing this employee object, my initial salary is twenty thousand. So now, for for example, after one year, I want to change his salary alone. So I will say the same employee object dot set employee salary. I will pass the new salary. So finally, you can see without reconstructing the object, I'm just changing only the salary of that employee. After that, for verification purpose, I will be calling my display method. Now you can look at the output. Let us run this code. You can look at our output. So initial stage. I mean, when the object is constructed, that time his salary is two thousand. But in future, employee ID and names are same, but the salary can be changed with the help of method. So this is the real time usage of, or the difference between constructor and the method. So I'm summarizing the point once again. So, with the help of constructor, I can initialize or I can set some initial value value for the object. In future, if I want to modify some values, what I will do instead of reconstructing the object again, I will be using a method to change the particular values. Friends, I hope. So clear about uh, the difference between constructor and the method. So now I hope you got the clear picture. When should, what is the real time usage of constructor and the method? So in our next video, so we will be discussing about Java blocks. So for example, you can look at this code. I have a block. Nothing but constructor, right? If anything is beginning with curly braces, then I will say it's a block. So now you can see this is a constructor. It has some name, and this is a method. It has some name. So finally, I can say these two are blocks with name. The same way we can define a blocks without name. So that will call this anonymous block. So in our next video, so we will be discussing about how to define anonymous blocks in Java, and what are the different types of anonymous blocks in Java. So thanks, friends. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, so please subscribe and click on the bell symbol so that as soon as I upload the new video. you will be getting the notification also you can share it with your friends